Imagine a planet where the skis glow red, the oceans are made of methane, and temperatures swing from blistering heat to bone-freezing cold. Could such a place actually harbor life? For decades, scientists have been asking that very question. And today, thanks to powerful telescopes and daring missions, we're beginning to glimpse worlds so strange they almost feel like science fiction. Take Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Its surface is nearly minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, with thick clouds and lakes not of water, but of liquid methane and ethane. To humans, Titan is deadly, but scientists suspect that life doesn't have to play by Earth's rules. Instead of water-based biology, there might be alien organisms using methane as a solvent, completely different chemistry, but still alive in its own way. Then there's Kepler 452b, sometimes called Earth's cousin. It's a rocky world orbiting a star similar to our sun, and it sits in the habitable zone, the region where liquid water could exist. If Kepler 452b has oceans, an atmosphere, and a stable climate, it might be the kind of place where life could emerge and evolve just as it did here. But some of the most intriguing candidates are found in the TRAPPIST-1 system, just 40 light years away. One planet in particular, TRAPPIST-1e, is about the size of Earth and may have a thick protective atmosphere. That shield could block deadly radiation from its red dwarf star, creating conditions where life, at least microbial life, might stand a chance. And here, where it gets fascinating, on Earth, life doesn't just survive in cozy environments. Microbes flourish in boiling acid pools, in frozen tundras, in the crushing depths of the Mariana Trench, even inside solid rock kilometers underground. These organisms, called extremophiles, prove that life can adapt to conditions we once thought impossible. If it can happen here, why not on a distant planet with alien chemistry? The search for life is no longer just about finding another Earth. It's about opening our minds to possibilities far stranger than we ever imagined. Life could be carbon-based like us, or something entirely different, built on silicon, ammonia, or molecules we haven't even considered yet. So could there be life on these mysterious planets? The honest answer is, we don't know. But with every telescope launched, every exoplanet discovered, and every signal scanned from the skis, we come one step closer to solving one of humanity's greatest mysteries. Are we truly alone in the universe, or is life waiting out there, hidden on worlds stranger than our dreams?